Hey guys, it's Dr. Mona, and today I wanna to show you how to do kind of like my own variation of facial massage. So what I do with this massage is I kind of help tone and lift the skin up. I help get rid of toxins. Um, I just kind of help stimulate everything. And it's also just really relaxing. Like we hit pressure points, we're gonna cover all of that. And this is something you can do at home, which is less expensive than going to a spa. And it's just a nice self-care, self-love practice that I think you should try incorporating. You can do this in the morning or at night. Um, ideally, I would say if you had to pick one morning is best. Make sure your skin is cleansed. And before you do this facial massage, I highly recommend having some kind of oil on your skin because if you're just doing it on dry skin, it kind of pulls your skin a little too much and it just doesn't feel as nice. I recommend an oil cleanser. This is just a Sowaso Gentle Oil Cleanser. You can use any oil cleanser you want. I do find that oil cleansers work better than just like an oil serum because it's not enough to cover your whole face. So this, some kind of moisturizer, anything will do. Before I get into the actual massage, I just wanna to touch upon lymphatic drainage and lymphatic massage. I feel like I've seen this come up a little more on different blogs and videos and I wanna make sure you understand what this is actually doing. So you have your blood vessels that are responsible for circulation and transferring your blood throughout your body and then you have your lymphatic system. And instead of actually transferring the blood through your body, this is how you get rid of waste. So when you have toxins, waste, anything, it has to go through your lymphatic system to your lymph nodes, and then it has to get drained. The problem is sometimes it needs a little help with getting circulated. So it's really highly dependent on your circulation. And if your circulation isn't the best at the moment, sometimes it's not getting drained the way it needs to be. So this is why certain things like lymphatic massage or lymphatic drainage can actually help because we're kind of facilitating it and pushing it along. So as you can probably tell, this is a really great detoxing remedy and detoxing detoxing massage because just by doing certain massage techniques, we're actually helping get rid of toxins in our body. So sometimes when we talk about detoxing, it doesn't have to be something really expensive. It doesn't have to be these pills you buy online or some like program you have to go into. In fact, a lot of the pills and products that are meant to detox, I'm not a huge fan of. I think that there's little natural remedies you can do to detox every single day. And this is one of them. We're going to start with our oil cleanser. Make sure your skin is cleansed and clean and your hands are clean just so we don't break out. I actually use this oil cleanser to, uh, to remove makeup. It's always like my step one and then I use a gentle cleanser so I just happen to have it anyway. It's also better to wear something that's a little like lower cut or maybe a towel or a robe so that you can, you'll see we have to kind of get down into this area. So this is gonna be a combination of, like I said, lymphatic drainage. We're also gonna to help to tighten and firm and tone the skin. So I'm just gonna kind of show you a little hybrid massage that I like to do at night. So the first thing I like to do is to kind of stimulate the lymph nodes and the lymphatic system. So you're gonna take your ring finger and your middle finger, and you know this, you're gonna feel this bone right here on your chest and neck, and right above it. You can even put one finger on the bone and one finger above it in this little divot right here where your soft tissue is, and you're just gonna press. And the thing with lymphatic drainage or massage, you'll even notice if you get these facials done, it's actually very gentle. It's like light strokes, really gentle, so you don't have to push hard. Just the smallest little touch can actually really stimulate this flow. You can count 10 times. Some people say to count 50 times to really get it going. I'm trying to be very realistic. Like if you're doing this every morning, you might not have time to do 50 pumps here, 50 pumps here. So aim for whatever you can. I like to do at least 20. That's kind of my number. So just gently press 20 times. You might notice that when we're doing these, you kind of feel some stuff coming down the back of your throat. You might like sniffle a little bit. This means it's actually working, so it's not a bad thing. As you go, there's certain ones you'll see that almost immediately do that. So after you've done that 20 times, you're gonna cross your hands. This just kind of makes it easier to push down. And you can use your fingertips and like right here on your neck, kind of down to that same bone, same thing, 20 times. So the next step, you're gonna keep your hands crossed like this and you're gonna go kind of like right around your ear. You can keep your fingers around your ears or you can go behind your ears. I, I do both. And you're just gonna kind of brush down to your neck. Actually counting out 20. I'm actually feeling some stuff in the back of my throat right now that's like, so it's really stimulating it. And the last thing you're gonna do before we get to the face is you're gonna put your hands behind your neck like this. So we're kind of targeting everywhere there are, your lymphatic system is and where there's lymph nodes. So we're targeting specific areas. So you're gonna go behind your neck and just pull down 20 times like this. Okay, 
about 20 there. I also like to do a gentle stroke kind of from my mouth to my ears. So normally we're going down, but in this direction we're actually going up. I'm gonna just kind of like lightly push. Have you ever noticed when you're getting a massage or a facial that they do kind of pull up this way and they're pulling up? A lot of times that is strategic to help kind of get some of that lymphatic drainage going. And like I said, this isn't an exact science. Like you can kind of see what feels good to you and play around with it. Obviously, if I were to say you have to do 50 of these and 50 of these, it's not sustainable. No one's actually gonna do that. So just see what works for you. Okay, so now that we've kind of got that fluid going, I can actually feel stimulation. Like you'll notice just from doing those, you can feel some stuff moving around. So now we'll get onto the facial massage, which is my favorite part. So the first thing you can do is start on one side of your face and kind of like massage in big circles. So take both of your hands and do big round circles like that. And this is just kind of like stimulating your circulation. And remember the better your circulation, the better your lymphatic drainage too. I'm gonna go to the other side and you might notice you're getting a little bit red you don't want to get too red you're not you don't like I said you don't want to press too hard but just a little bit of redness is normal because you're obviously rubbing your skin then I like to move these circles up to the forehead and you can also play around with this if, if for you it feels better to do long strokes like this instead of circles, you can also do that. Just make sure for this we're going up in an upward motion. So now I'm gonna do some circles on my forehead. And come down around your eyes. Then one important thing I really like to do here is to kind of release the muscle tension. You know, if you get tension headaches, or if you notice like a lot of stress is held up here. So a lot of times with lymphatic massage, what they'll do is just lightly stroke. And even just this like little light stroke will help get some fluid going. I swear if you just try this, it instantly relaxes you and it's like you can feel something happening. You can do this 20 times, it feels good, do it for a minute, whatever you want. If you are really feeling stressed and you do feel that you hold a lot of tension up there, you can press a little bit harder and almost just kind of like break up that muscle tension. So if you notice, um, you also hold some muscle tension in your jaw, especially for anyone that grinds at night, you feel like you grind your teeth. Sometimes you don't even know if you're grinding your teeth, but if you wake up with a sore mouth, your dentist can oftentimes tell you. Either way, I like to kind of pinch this area. I saw an esthetician do this once and I thought it was such a brilliant idea because you're just like clench so much if you're stressed out, it's just nice to kind of help you release that tension. And if you'll notice, everything we're doing, the whole point of this right now is to kind of loosen up your muscles and get rid of tension, but we're also pushing up. We wanna lift the face up so as you age or sun damage, things can make your skin sag a little bit. So the more we can press up, the better. And you'll be surprised how much you can manipulate your skin, which is why I say doing this in the morning is a really great idea because your skin is just like lifted for the day. I actually heard that a lot of people on the red carpet will get a facial massage right before they go on the carpet, maybe like six hours before or the day before, just because your skin is so much more like lifted and firm. And then sometimes if you ever notice that maybe your mouth is starting to like sag down a little bit, this can happen with age, you can also kind of push these muscles up and again, try to like manipulate your skin a little bit. That's kind of what facial massage is. So I'm sure you'll notice that when you get massages that they will focus on certain pressure points. And besides that, just feeling good actually has a lot of purpose. 
So certain pressure points can be associated with your pituitary gland, your endocrine system, and all of these things can play a huge role in your skincare, on um, whether or not you break out in stress, you know, so just doing these little habits every day can actually help your skin health in the long run. So one pressure point's right here. It's like on your third eye. And you can hold it for 60 seconds or you can hold it for 20 seconds. I think 60 is actually great. Then we've got pressure points under the eye. Um, this is great if you have puffiness under your eyes or if you have swelling, just gently, you can use like three of your fingers. Just work from the inside and go out. And then this is a really good one to add in if you have some kind of sinus buildup or sinus infection or you feel like you're stuffy or congested, you're gonna go right outside your nose. You can take your ring fingers and just massage in circles here. Literally, I'm sniffling. It like immediately breaks up stuff in your nose and throat. It's like you're pushing it back. This is also a great thing to try on your kids. If you have kids that are sick or maybe they have congestion in their nose, you can just give them like a nice light facial massager on their nose and that could really help. So those are really the main points that I get in the main focal areas. Um, you know, besides that, again, just stroking in an upward motion can really help lift your skin. So you can take this and kind of make it your own and experiment there's so many, um, just great benefits besides getting rid of toxins, lifting your skin, tightening your skin, firming it. It's relaxing. It's just another cool thing you can do at home that's inexpensive. I mean, it's free. <laughs> you can just do it by yourself. I definitely don't do this every day. I would love to, but there, of course there are days that I'm too busy. But even if I'm just like at home watching TV or in bed, just like the lightest little massage with a little bit of oil can really make a difference. So try this at home. Let me know if it works. What you guys should try even is to take before and after pictures because I swear when I actually do like a good 15 minute facial massage, I can notice immediately that my skin's more lifted. Like these lines right here are less visible, like your nasolabial folds, your mouth is more lifted. So try it. If you do, maybe send a picture. You can always send it to me on Instagram. It's at Dr. Mona Band. Let me know what you think of this video. If you like this tutorial style more, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week.